Hello friends, welcome back to Lalaben 9 tutorial. In this video, we are going to discuss about allocant 1 to main relation, right? So, so last few days we are discussing about allocant relations. I already discussed about 1 to 1 relation and in this video we are going to discuss about 1 to main relation, right? So what is allocant? Actually, the allocant is an object relation mapper or ORM, right? that is included by default within the laravel framework so we don't need to think about that things so it's already included okay and the next thing is when we will use the one to main relations right so we will use this type of relation while one table is related to another table or multiple tables right so, so that is a one to main relation for example suppose we have some students and student have multiple subject okay that time a student assigned multiple subject okay so that time one student can study multiple subjects so this is the one to multiple means main relation right let's create uh, the relation so first of all we need to create two models that is one for student and one for subject okay so let's create so simply to stop this so php artisan make model suppose my model name is student and i also want the migration so just use minus m so model created successfully and created migrations create student table okay and i need another model with migration that is subject okay so i already said a one student can have multiple subject assigned so just create so two models created and two migration created so if you just uh, go to the um, model sections so if you just go here app models will get the student model or you will get the subject model okay so those are the models and if you go into the um, database section so just go into the database migrations you will get one is create student table migration and another is create subject table migration okay so let's migrate this thing so before that we need to modify some columns so suppose student have name and email let's make it simple so that it will be understandable better so make it as table uh, string and suppose this is the name and let's create another for table string and this time it will be the email okay so student have only those two fields and we have a, a create subject table so in a subject table we will have a foreign key for the student id so we need actually the subject name so simply write a table string and first of all the name of the subject so i will store in subject column so this is the subject column and i need a relational foreign key so simply write table and just make a big integer so write here big integer and let's make it student id okay and also it will be unsigned unsigned okay that's good and now let's uh, build a foreign key relation so simply write table and uh, just uh, use the foreign key so simply write f-o-r-e-g-i-n f-o-r-e-i-g-n and let's make a student id as a foreign key so simply write student student id and let's use the references so it will actually reference r-e-f-e-r-e-n-c-e-s references the id from student table so id from the student table so make it on and the table name is students okay and also i'm setting the on delete cascading so simply write on delete cascading so simply write cascade that's good now uh, two migration is ready so let's migrate this so php artisan migrate okay so student table and subject table both are migrated so let's check so you can see both table are migrated that is student and subject table okay now in student table we have a name and email and in the subject table we have subject and student id and see inside the uh, subject table 
student ID is using as a foreign key. So now we need to insert some data. So let's make a controller first and using controller we will create a function and we will add some data in both table. So php artisan make controller suppose my controller name is student controller right so just enter this controller created successfully so if you just uh, go into the controller section app http controllers you will get the student controller okay so i don't need migration so just uh, cross this right now, now i need to make a relation between a student table and subject table so first of all in the student table just create a function suppose a public function and i will just uh, use subjects okay so i will just use subjects as subjects will be many right one to many one student multiple subjects so we'll get multiple subject for a student so just so just make subjects and simply return this and this time the relation will be has many right so has many and just make the uh, subject class so simply write subject colon colon class so it can be accessible as we have a same namespace right and inside the subject table we will create a public function and suppose this time i will get a single student so simply write student and this time we will uh, write the same that is belongs to okay so write belongs to okay and here simply use the student class okay so this is the relation we build so make it written right so all are done the relation section is done now just uh, create a function to add some student okay so first of all we need to add the models into the uh, student controller so simply write use app models use app models so let's add the name so this name is subject and right here subject and these are the students so simply make it right student student okay so all are good now just use this the public function i have to add some student first add student and let's insert some data into the student table so just create a, a student variable and just calling the student class and using that we are we will insert some data we will insert some new records that is student name right students name equal to uh, just write a name that is john and let's uh, write here students email so actually we have a student's name and email inside the student's table that's the reason we're writing student's name and email and suppose email is john at the rate email dot com and let's make it save so simply write dollar students save okay so it will save the uh, student data and simply return student edit okay and let's uh, create another function to add subject so simply just copy this and make a function for add subject and this time we need to use the subject so as we are using this subject and dollar subject and to insert data in the subject table we need some reference that is the id for student id so we will use the student here student and we'll find the record that is dollar id and we'll get the student id here so simply make it a student and let's use the subject also so simply just write dollar subject equal to new subject okay so to insert the data into the subject table new subject and here 
I just have a only one column that is subject so subject arrow the subject so this is actually column name that is a subject and this is the variable okay so don't be confused and suppose my subject name is English okay and now let's save so to save we need to use the dollar student and we will call this subject function so simply write subject and I will save so simply write save and while save we will pass this subject data okay so just pass this and here write subject edit okay now let's create a routes to call these two functions so simply just go into the route section and here just go into the web.php and let's register the student controller here so simply use the namespace first um, use app http controllers then the name of the class that is student controller okay and now let's call this function so simply just create two functions route and get and suppose uh, here write uh, add student student add student and now use the student controller clone clone class and what is the function name so to add student we have this function add student okay so let's call this add student first and we'll insert subject letter so run php artisan serve and now just go to this link and let's enter so student edit so if we just go to the here we are getting the student is added now just uh, create another student at a time so just make it mike and make change the email that's mike at the email dot com and let's refresh this page again again new data is added that is mike edit so i need to add some data into the subject table also so how we can add this so simply we have a function to add subject so just copy these things and let's call the add subject function and here write add subject and as we need the student id so we need to pass this id to insert data into the uh, subject table so simply write id okay so in this way id sorry i wrongly slashed okay now uh, just create a add subject so i will add subject for john so how can i do this so slash add subject and slash the john side is one so i just insert john so subject edit so if you just go here you can see subject edit with student id one right and suppose i need to add another subject suppose uh, let's go here and change sorry uh, like suppose i just adding the math and this time math is assigned to two so simply just go here and make change to two subject edit and these are added and now i want to add another suppose i just want to make it history okay and i want to add for one so that time i will uh, use one okay so actually i need multiple records so that we can explain it very better so for one means for john we have two entry and for mike we have one entry right this is the two now how to fetch record okay so simply just go to the controller and create a function public function and suppose my function name is get subject by student id and i will pass the id here okay so simply just write here dollar id and here we will use dollar subject equal to and i will call a student model so student find i will find the id and i will get the subject so i need subject so this is my function name so let's call this okay and just uh, return the data so simply return dollar subject okay 
now just call this from the routes easily you can understand what i am going to do so simply just use get subject by student and here also write get subject by student okay no problem and just go here i want to get subject list for two okay so let's make it this and make it two so we are getting only math because for math only uh, because for uh, two records means for mike only math is present and if i want to get the result for john so just change into the one and we are getting two records right so basically this is a one to many lessons means for one student we have multiple record so this is all about one to many relationship using allocant relation so hope you understand this video and still if you have any questions about this video please comment in a below comment section next day we are going to uh, discuss about another things that is many to many relationship like so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video and thanks for watching this video have a good day bye